So here we are at the start of the Hermitage. Um, I read it somewhere here, look, for over 200 years it has been a stopping point on the Grand Scottish Tour, one of the oldest tourist attractions in Scotland. And we're looking forward to it because you've got Ossian's Cave, Ossian's Seat, a lovely little bridge, and Ossian's Hall, and some waterfall. So this is going to be quite... Oh, and Britain's And tallest. a totem pole. <laughs> and a totem pole. Yeah. And Britain's tallest tree. How exciting Ooh, is that? Yeah. How exciting is that? So after the terrible, terrible weather we've had in the last month, yeah. this is so nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's like a spring day. Beauty. Yeah. It is pretty nippy. It's not hot, but it's uh, there's no wind, no rain. It's beautiful. We're loving it. Yeah. There's a little riverside walk. <laughs> so there's a choice of two paths to take here, Mazzy. Yes. That's the quick, short one. This is the longer one, so you're getting in a totem pole and a cave, which you wouldn't do if we took that route. We took the right one. We've took the <laughs> long route, especially for you. Yay. What have you seen? Wow, look. <laughs> tree full of... Wow, it's one of them. A money tree type thing. Some Love of them. these, look. You've got a lot of Euros, yeah. European coins. I don't know what that one is. That's a tempe. Oh, is that a tempe? Yeah. This looks different though, or old. That. No, no, just a 2p. That's a euro without the centre in it anymore, look. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can we do one? Yeah. We can't do one because we've nothing to hammer it in with. No, I'll, I'll find something. You walk. A bit of rock. <laughs> you can try, there's a rock down there. Yeah. I'm not being tight, it's 20p, isn't it? If it were a 2p or a 5p even, I might have let you have it to put in. We're not wasting 20p putting it in there. Come on. <laughs> you know, 20p is 20p. Gosh. <laughs> People must think I'm really tight, you know. I'm not. I'm not tight at all. It's just I appreciate the value of 20p. We're here at the first place. Yeah. Apart from the money rip-off scam tree, <laughs> uh, the totem pole, it's not that impressive, is it? No, but it's still nice. I thought it was going to be huge. It's literally about nine foot tall, some kind of eagle on top, and not very well carved, let's be honest. It's got a fish on this side. There's a plaque here, Mazzy. Yeah. And a fish on this side as well. So a fish on each side with an eagle at the top. And there's a plaque. What does that say? Big tree country. That's it. Big tree country. Perthshire big tree country.co.uk. Okay. Now that looks like an arrow. Yeah, that's, is that why pointing, going, that's why I'm going like this. Is that pointing at the tallest tree in Scotland? Where is it? They don't look too tall to me, they so I'm guessing the, not. They all look the same. Maybe it's that one that's fallen over. <laughs> look like you're having fun. Hug it! I am having fun. Honestly, if you give me a ten foot piece of wood, I reckon I could do better than that. I just think it's a shame they haven't gone to more trouble and got a really good artist to do that. It's like the Forestry Commission were just having a lunch break with the lads and they've just ripped into it to make this. Come on, they could have done better than that. Well, you've got your artist jacket on now, so I why don't you crack on and finish it? I can't finish it because I forgot to bring my crafter's knife. Oh. Yeah, I've got my crayons, but not my knife. Anyway, at least it's better to look at than just a tree. I'm probably completely wrong. I did come, I'm sure I went with my Martin and my Julie to somewhere where it said it is Scotland's tallest tree. Yeah. And we didn't find it. Now, whether it was here or not, I don't know. I can't see me going all the way over here with Julie and Martin because it's too far from where we were traveling. Well, look at this one. But there is a big tree here, yeah. It is big. 
It is very, very big. We can't see the top of it for the branches, but I'm pretty sure there would be a plaque underneath it if that was it. I think it's over in that direction near the end of this walk, but we're definitely going to see it. I'm not leaving without seeing the biggest tree in Britain. So Britain's tallest tree. It's not this one at all. <laughs> I'm just looking online and it says this one is the sixth tallest. But that was in 1998. So it's going to be taller? It's going to be taller. <laughs> it was 61.5 metres tall in 1998. Wow. The fifth tallest is only half of a metre taller. So Ooh. it could have overtaken that quite yeah. easily. The tallest is, bear with me, mm -hmm. the tallest is 64 metres. That's not much more, is it? But, yeah. It's only, it's only about 10 foot taller than this one, so this might be the tallest now, because it was 1998 the last recorded the height of this one. So yeah, I'm going to go along with it. Let's just say it is the tallest. It looks like we're just approaching the cave. And as me and Mazzy have pointed out, this also looks like something the Forestry Commission have made on the lunch break. Um, just throwing a few rocks together, but it might be better when we get in there. It's definitely the cave. I like secrets. It's not a cave, it's a tunnel. Caves don't have openings at both ends. Or is that a window? If that's a window, I'll give them it. It's a cave. That's a window. All right. It's, it's really cool. It's like Flintstone's house. So here we are in the cave. Is it a cave, really? Yes. A cave's just got one hole in it, hasn't it, at one end. This has got a proper archway, which has been built by a builder, someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> you know, this isn't natural. You don't do that without going to some kind of college and doing, you know, some kind of degree on masonry. And then over here you've got the same, that ain't natural. You've got a gap going out. Caves don't have two entrances, surely. And then you, <laughs> and then you really hurt your ankle on a seat, which just happens to be there. You've got a window up there, a window up there. It's more like a hobbit's house, isn't it, than a cave. It's still cute. It is cute. You know, I wouldn't mind living here. And I'd mean that. I could happily live here. It's enough room for me. Hey! <laughs> it's enough room for us. <laughs> sorry. I wouldn't think... That. Sorry. Me and Mazzy have decided this was the first attempt on the lunch break of making the cave. Because <laughs> look, it's a massive square piece. And they've obviously been trying to chisel away at this thing and make it into something and given up on it. It's as if it's collapsed, isn't it? Yeah. I'm telling you, that's what it is. They've attempted to make some kind of other cave there. I'm sure they have, but they haven't done a very good job. It's another of them scammers trees. <laughs> give us your money, give us your money. Look at this. That is pathetic. That's the size of my hand. It's like a twig tree, a uh, money twig rather than a money tree. <laughs> done it again look they're trying it out with the third one you know there's you can see can't you tell by this sparsity of all them coins people have run out of the money by now <laughs> you know you've seen how much money's in first one 
they've given up now. We're in Scotland. People don't just throw money around three times in one trip. Third time lucky, maybe. Third time lucky. Mm -hmm. They can try three more times, six more times, ten more times with me. I'm saving me 20 pence piece. Are you having a picnic break? I brought you some water. Thank you. Free water out of tap. <laughs> what you got? I've got Coca-Cola. You could have had Coca-Cola. Why didn't you go for Coca-Cola? Because you do like Coca-Cola. Well, I like water too. <laughs> yeah, we found this nice bench. It says John Carrick on it. I don't know who John Carrick is. I thought John Carrick was the man who is the presenter on the horse racing on Channel 4. I might be wrong. But yeah, we sat on his bench having a beautiful view yeah. of the river. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm just, I think his name's the, the race, horse racing presenter. I think it's John Merrick. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> and he thinks I'm silly. John Merrick, babe, is um, the elephant man. I know John Merrick is the elephant man, but I also think the presenter's called John Merrick. I don't think he is. Or it might be John Carrick. I don't know. I'm going to look it up okay. and I'll tell you. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. So it's not John Carrick. Right. And it's jo not John Merrick. Right. That's him. That's a picture of him. Can you see that? Yeah, it's kind of going stripey. I don't oh, know. All right. He's, yeah. he's a very strange looking man. He's a right character. Yeah. And his name is John McCreerick. Oh, so we were both wrong. John, Mar right. John McCreerick. <laughs> very close. So we've nearly done the circular walk now. You're not going to hear me very well because we're right next to a big waterfall a bit. Um, but we've got the Ossians Hall to do up at the Yay. top which looks unusual and we've got this lovely quirky bridge going over there and somewhere just over there I believe is Scotland's tallest tree Ooh. which we have to find before we go Mazzy yeah it makes you happy it will make me happy Ossian's Hall what is it? Ossian's Hall how do you get in? oh my god because it's open you have to push your way through <gasps> a brick wall this is going to be so good <laughs> Do you know what you're looking at? No. Ossian. Oh. That is Ossian. He's actually a guy, is it? It's what? I thought it was a place. No, it's Ossian a guy. is a person. I think he was a saint and he was blind. Oh. There's a story about him, but I don't know if he's blind. Ooh, let's go. This is a sliding door. Well, I have to be honest, Mazzy. Yeah. Ossian's Hall was not as good as I hoped it was going to be. Yeah. I thought it was going to be really magical mm. with mirrors everywhere. <laughs> because when I found this walk online, the, I found it because it was saying Ossian's Hall, go to Ossian's Hall. It didn't say go on the Hermitage Trail, it says go to Ossian's Hall, as if that was the highlight. Um, that certainly wasn't the highlight. I think the waterfall itself was the highlight. Oh, is that shut? That was a tree falling off. We can't get across the bridge because there's a tree falling in front of the entrance. So you've got this little wall here, which is obviously man-made with two square things in it. I don't know what that's for. It's like a big cave in there, that's quite cool. We're just coming over to the end here, this lovely quirky little bridge. You can't get across. Why can't you get across, you might ask yourself. Because there's a tree stump falling right in front of it. Right behind it. You can just see it through here. That is crazy. It's gone right across the path. Wow. I wonder if that was in Storm... I bet that was in Storm Gareth the other week. Yeah. <laughs> last week. I bet you anything it is. Right at the end of the bridge here, you've got this tree. Big, thick tree. Is it a tree, Mazzy? No, it's three trees. Look at it. It branches out into three 
big full-size trees up there. We found something. What is it? It's half an acorn. Half of an acorn? Yeah. Um, could be. It looks like a bit of a seed pod. What does it say on there? They form one of the most striking objects in nature. David Douglas. They do. They form one of the most... What does it say? Striking objects. Striking objects in nature. We don't know what they are. And I wouldn't say that's natural, but uh, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. It's copyrighted as well. Is that what that means? Can't copy this. I think I read on the internet you're supposed to lay on it and get good luck. Very cute. <laughs> Maz has told me to lie down in it. I've no idea why I'm lying down in it. I have no idea what I'm lying down in, but I'm doing what I'm told, <laughs> and it is very comfy. I can imagine on a hot summer's day, just lying down here properly, falling asleep, I bet it'd be beautiful. I was impressed by the last tree, getting so bored of being one tree turned into three trees, but look at this guy here. One trunk turns into one, two, three, six of them. Six trees in one. That's value for money, isn't it? Look at what. Got loads of graffiti on it, initials and all. Graffiti. Sorts. Yeah. We're still looking out for this tallest tree. There are some very tall trees here, but I don't think any of these are the tallest tree. Like you've got a lot of little lazy ones there. You can see them there. They've just given up. You know, they've grown for a couple of years and thought, well, I'm not going to win this competition, so I give up. But the biggest one, there's no way I'm... I did this last time with my Julie and my Martin. I was looking for the world's tallest tree and we never found it. Uh, the countries or whatever. Um, so I'm not leaving here without seeing this one. A big tree. Is that some... is that it? No, that's not it. I'm gutted, Mazzy. Absolutely I know. gutted. So I know where it is now. Where is it? At the end? Come round here and I'll show you. Where? And we're not going back. It's too far. Britain's tallest tree is there. Yeah. That was the little bridge and that was the Ossian's Hall. So we couldn't get over there because this tree's fallen over and gone across the entrance. But it looks like it was just downstream from there. Well, I think technically you might have seen that then. I might have seen it, <laughs> but that ain't good enough. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. That's the only reason I wanted to come. <laughs> so that's the end of us, Hermitage. Yeah. Trail walk. Did you enjoy that? Valerie, it was so good. It makes a nice change for us to have a walk, yes, doesn't it? We don't yes. do it very often together. <laughs> um, but yeah, enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one. We don't even yeah. know where we're going next. No. Heading towards Perth, but I don't know what we're going to go see. So anyway, bye thanks bye. for watching. Bye bye. bye.